So Edge Transit is back. At first when I heard about Edge Transit coming back into the game, I thought great, time to make another Edge Transit meme, because come on, it was great. But you know what's funny? Edge Transit might actually be one of the best DPS weapons in the game right now, specifically because of the rules that you can get with this weapon. On one side you've got great ad clear that pairs brilliantly with void builds, just make everything go boom with volatile rounds and chain reaction, which is a great combo that I'm loving right now. And on the other side, if you can get the perfect roll, you can achieve some serious DPS. Use Izzy, use Edge Transit. Today though, I'm going to go over all the rules for this weapon and give you guys what I think are the best rules to have for both PvE and PvP, whether you want to use this weapon for general ad clear or you want to take this into raids and dungeons for the best boss DPS. So guys, before we get into it, let me know below what rule that you're chasing and if you find this video useful, then a rating is much appreciated. But now let's dive right into it. So Edge Transit is a returning Void Energy Heavy Grenade Launcher, and to get this weapon, you will need to farm it from the new Onslaught activity that launched with Into the Light. Once you've done the basic quests for Into the Light, make sure you do the Grenade Launcher quest you get from the Hall of Champions, so that you can then attune the Edge Transit GL, so that the chances of it dropping for you will be higher, which means a higher chance of getting those god rolls that you might be chasing. Now Edge Transit is a pretty good DPS weapon, which is probably what the majority of you are looking for, but it does also offer a range of different perk combos, that can be nice to have for ad clearing, which is what I am using in the onslaught, mostly just for a bit of fun, but I will be going for that DPS roll myself anyway. Edge Transit did actually get a slight buff, so the stats of Edge Transit are slightly better than the original one that we once had back in the day, but also heavy GLs in general, they also got buffed not too long ago, so GLs now in general are just in a much better state than they were before. And with some decent perk combos that we have with this weapon now, it honestly might be the best heavy GL in the game, if not the best heavy weapon completely when it comes down to boss DPS. But the rule I got, which is the one I'm using in the background gameplay here, was chain reaction and destabilizing rounds. Although I was using the deconstruct perk because the volatile perk was pointless for me, since I was using my hunter Javalkans build that gives me volatile anyway. But if I wasn't using Javalkans, then I would have stuck with that initial perk of destabilizing rounds. But I am loving this weapon a lot in PvE right now, which is funny because I wasn't even hyped at all for this weapon when I heard it was coming out. Now the rules for edge transit that you can get in the first slot are chain reaction, impulse amplifier, cascade point, repulsor brace, field prep, auto loading, and envious assassin. In the second slot, you can get frenzy, adrenaline junkie, deconstruct, bait and switch, explosive flight, full court, and destabilizing rounds. Honestly, a lot of good perks to use, but for your PvE god rule, you'll want to go with quick launch, spike grenades, envious assassin, and bait and switch with a reload speed masterwork. You can also use cascade point, that's not too bad as well, but envious assassin and bait and switch is pretty damn lethal in PvE for having probably the best DPS in the game by just throwing in all your damage within a short space of time. I do actually prefer the alternative god rule and hear me out, but it's probably a mix between field prep and auto loading with bait and switch. The reason for this is because although we're losing a bit of DPS, so we're going to be slower, it's actually easier to maintain and requires minimal effort and skill to still achieve some decent damage by the time that damage phase is over. This would probably be the better option if you don't intend to use Izzy and instead you use things like a Wither Horde or anything else that has auto loading in the kinetic or energy slot. And it's generally just probably the more chill approach for the casual player. That's just my pick but let me know what rules you prefer. Now the second rule I like, which isn't a DPS rule, this is more just for fun and ad clearing, is chain reaction or repulsor brace with destabilizing rounds. In my opinion, pair this with a good void build and it will just dominate adds like there's no tomorrow. But with all the other ad clearing weapons out there, this probably isn't going to be one I'd use all the time for ad clearing. For DPS, sure, but I still need to get that roll to drop for me. Now for PvP lovers, this isn't really a weapon I'd take into PvP, but if you are, the roll you'd want is quick launch, proximity grenades, impulse amplifier, and frenzy with a velocity masterwork. This isn't really a weapon I'd use in PvP though, and PvP isn't really my area, so for PvP pros out there, feel free to give your thoughts on using this in PvP below. Otherwise, that's all I got for you guys today, another quick weapon rule breakdown. So as always, thank you all for tuning in, and until next time, take care and stay safe.